All right, so when I subtract, if I do 2 take away 1, what are we getting, right? So on the left-hand side, I've got this. And on the right-hand side, I have this. Is that OK? Yeah. Now, in some ways, I'm going to do very similar things. On the right-hand side, I can just factorize. Now, look carefully at the left-hand side. What does that difference of intervals correspond to here? What do you end up with? S dash, let me call it. Have a look. This is um, SA2, that's this distance. Right, let, me, let me draw it up. There's SA2, right? And what I'm subtracting from it is SA1. Hmm. <coughs> What do you end up getting? Okay. okay, now I'm going to do that same flippy across thing, taking advantage of the symmetry of the ellipse. Right? I'm going to flip this across this whole distance here. What is this distance, by the way, the one I'm rubbing off? It's A, right? And I'm going to put it over this side. Okay. So what I've got is, I really should have them in different colors, actually. That one is the I have got that log interval, that's, that represents SA2, and I'm subtracting that interval. You see that? So because I'm subtracting this from this, this part just goes. So now I've got double of, double of what? OS, you see that? And you see why OS is kind of valuable to me, right? So I'm gonna write two OS over here on the left hand side, visual argument, okay? What about this guy? What did you make of that? A2N, A2N, where is he? A2N, take away A1N, what is that? This is easier, isn't it? Change your axis. Yeah, you're taking away that gap and all you get left with is the major axis, which is 2a, right? So I've got <coughs> e times 2a. So, okay, um, I'm almost there, right? I just have to divide by 2, which gives me this in alph alphabetical, well, it actually doesn't matter, really. So what does this tell me? What does this imply? This tells me where the focus is, right? Because s is where the focus is. I know the distance from the origin to the focus, and I'm just on the axis, the x-axis, so the horizontal distance tells me this is AE comma zero, which tells me where the other focus is, namely at minus AE comma zero. Does that make sense? Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay, right. So therefore, coordinates of foci are um, plus or minus AE comma zero. Does that make sense? Assuming, of course, we're like center of the origin. Obviously, if we were to shift up somewhere else, um, the equations would have to do a corresponding translation. But that's fine. We'll deal with that case later on. OK. Now, we are still not quite there. I'm just going to Okay, it breaks my heart, but I'm going to have to uh, erase this ellipse in a second so that I keep this working. Oh, keep going. <laughs> this is not enough. This looks great, but it's not enough. Why not? What, what was the original question I was trying to determine? Find E. Uh, the original yeah. question oh, I was trying oh, to determine? Okay. Yeah, I've got these guys, right? And I'm trying to find out, well, where, where are these and these? Right? That's what I was after. Now I've gotten a long way forward. Um, I, I've worked out an equation and coordinates for these, but I'm stuck because I don't know what E is. I know what A and B are, but I don't know what E is. Okay? Now the very fact that, look at your, um, look at the coordinates of the foci and the equations of the directrices. You see they have nothing to do with B. Do you notice that? Right? We have not used B at all. That's a clue to us that using B is going to be our kind of access into working out what the eccentricity is. And that kind of makes sense, right? Like that squeezy, squashy thing, that's what the ratio tells us, has to do with how far I've gone this way and how far I've gone this way. All right, so here's my challenge to you. So get started before I show you on the board. Okay. Um, since you now know the coordinates of the foci and the equation of the directrix, you're back to where we started in period zero 
you can use those to get the equation of the lockers, right? You can use those to get that, right? Remember? Because you've got um, a distance between two points, and then you've got a perpendicular distance. You just need to know the coordinates of the point and the equation of the line, which you know we just established. And you should be able to arrive here, right? Can you do it? Give it a shot. Why? 